How much? Okay. I yeah, can see right. everything just fine. Yeah, thank you. Oh, man, we're right on, man. Sorry about that, bro. I had to help my little daughter in the car. My wife was taking off, and we're on the third floor, so now we got to freaking – I, I got to walk like damn near a half a mile, it feels like, just to go put her in the damn car. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. We got uh, home place. with a couple kids. Yeah. Oh, you did. Yours? Nice. Uh, I have a two-year-old and a two-month uh, – three-month-old. So. Bro, how do you do it? I finally meet my match. How do you do it, bro? That's my age group. And I'm about to jump yeah. off the third floor, man. <laughs> yeah. My daughter's uh, going to be two. My daughter's yeah. going to be two in, a, in like two weeks. And then my little boy, he just turned one month. And it's wow, freaking congrats, World dude, War Three, bro. Thank you, man. It's freaking World War Three. It's driving us crazy, bro. My wife and I are about to freaking shoot each other and – dude it's just i don't i don't i don't know bro like i'm having such a hard time it's not even funny dude yeah and uh yeah it's uh both of us are working are at home together and you know it's just boom bam right just, wow so how do you get work done do you literally lock yourself in the room or or do you yeah i lock myself up in a room and shut the door and uh, uh catherine's a school teacher so she has as a summer off so she's lucky enough to she uh during the day will take the kids and let me work so yeah but that's the only way how old is your youngest uh he is just like turned three months old so Dang, dude yeah. we're right there then bro we're right yeah. there wow didn't you have a, you, you have a son and a daughter correct yeah dude bro that's yeah. exactly where i'm at right now right yeah so just it's like oh great way to try to work from home and uh start a business right at the dude the pandemic, it's so challenging from- man yeah because <laughs> just the human nature in me like i every time i hear the baby cry or and it started with my daughter to tell you the truth <clears throat> it started with her she's gonna be two and so like yeah man my wife has been stay at home for the last couple of years and and anytime i would hear my daughter cry i'd go out just to go help you know, so that kind of threw me off my work schedule. And then now we have this nut, this new womb, this new baby, and I'm doing the same thing. But now it's like both of them crying at the same time. And I'm and like catching myself. I'm like, dude, where did the day go? Like the day just flew by and I didn't get shit done. Like, like, yep. like it's not, it's not cool. Like, <clears throat> and this has been a struggle for my, my wife and I, man, like a real struggle, bro. Like a yeah. real struggle. Yeah. It's uh, it's tough because uh, we'll try to, we'll try to do a schedule and team up and I'll say, you know, I'll give you time in the morning and then, then we'll switch off and then you'll give me time at this part of the day. And, but yeah, you can't have like uh, the same work schedule. It's you try to just uh, have her do the stay home mom thing, take care of the kids, but with the, the age group that they're at and normally they'd be at daycare. So, um, you know, she's got to get some work done too. So you got to team up and definitely get a lot, a lot, a lot less done. Mm-hmm. Um, you just kind of, you know, focus on the, on making Dang. small progress, not, not as much <clears throat> progress as you'd want, but mm-hmm. making some progress. Like I've been doing, um, lots of social media stuff and I've been eager to launch and, uh, been watching your videos and, taking small steps and uh, learning patience for sure through the good bro. Let me um, go ahead and share your screen, share your screen so I can kind of walk you through and kind of get you familiar to the, to the Karcher platform. Okay. Do you see a green let's button below? See. Whiteboard. Okay. Let's just do share and see. Are you perfect? There we I'm... go. So this is, you can see my wedding photo right here. Awesome. Right on bro. Okay. So I mean, you look go. like a kid right there, dude. Yeah, that's uh, like I'm what, 23, 24. Wow, so. right on. <laughs> Time goes fast. Right on. Uh, all right, I'll go to <clears throat> here. Um, so here's my, uh, I don't know what you want to see. Here's my Kartra. And um, here is this. Uh, awesome, I didn't know where dude. you wanted to go first, but uh, I um got into Kartra I did a little goofing around on it and I made mm-hmm. a a form perfect and I made a landing or a, a thank you page mm-hmm. um so <clears throat> the uh, perfect I didn't perfect. get into actually 
I said I didn't know how to take um, the form and put it on a page and take that page live and then actually mm -hmm. put it into an ad. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't I didn't put it into an ad yet because I didn't know how to to tr put that into Facebook. But okay, perfect, man. Um, so then here's where you kind of want to start is click on my pages real quick. And what I normally do also is I'll have I'll have multiple tabs open. So I'll have one for my pages and then I'll, I'll right click, I'll, I'll hover over my forms. Like actually, yeah, save this one. What you always want to do is save progress. Yeah, um, that this is saved. Okay, right, cool. So. Always make sure you save progress, publish live, and then return a dashboard. So there's actually, there, I, I think you can go straight to publish live, but I always save progress, publish live, and then return a dashboard. Okay. So go back to it real quick. Just to kind of get in, 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 actually, yeah, I think you closed it. It's all good. We'll go back to it. But what I normally do is I'll have up, I'll have up my communications. So click on my communications. That's your email autoresponder. So normally I'll have a tab open for that. And then I'll hover over my pages, right click, open in a new tab. And I'll just have that open in a new tab. Because as I'm in my communications and working, let's just say, for example, working on an email sequence. And let's say I want to, I want to take those. I want to take a page and link it inside of my email. If I didn't have another tab open, I'd have to hit the back button. I'd have to get out of my communications, go to my pages, and then come back to my communications, which is a pain in the ass. So I'll normally have up just a handful of tabs so I don't have to go back and Got forth. It. That makes um, sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. This so, is communications, so, this is pages. Perfect. And then and then also um, my calendar, I'll have that already saved in a bookmark. So I'll have it at the top because that's my, my main calendar. I'll use that calendar for actually everything. So I'll, I'll end up just bookmarking that calendar. Once you create it, you'll bookmark it. You'll have a link and then you'll just bookmark it. But um, because in the emails, my whole objective is to, there's two things I try to do in an email is I'll educate them, obviously, you know, I'll, whatever they opted in for, if they're offered, opted in for a free quote, maybe over the next five days, I'm educating them on what it, what, what it all consists of, right? Like, you know, the whole, you know, your sales process, right? Break that down via a handful of emails. And that's your email autoresponder. That's what I would do. Like I would, I would educate them. So if I'm educating them through that upfront video on Facebook and I'm telling them to click, now they're going to my landing page and opting in, I'm going to educate them on what to expect next through a handful of emails. And in those emails, again, I'm educating them maybe a, you know, a few sentences, nothing crazy, educating them. But there's, there's really, there's really two things I'm trying to get them to do. I'm either trying to get them to click and that click is going to be a page. That's why I have my pages open in a separate tab because that click, what I do is I set up a handful of pages and on those pages are videos just like that one. So for example, email number one, it could be, Hey, Hey John, thanks for filling out our form yesterday. Just wanted to follow up. Let's say this is someone you haven't got a hold of. Let's say they haven't, let's say they didn't schedule an appointment up front. They did not leave their phone number. So now they're just inquiring for basic information, thinking that they can just submit it and get a quote. There's still a handful of emails that we want to communicate with them with, right? There's, and, and that's nurturing that list. So that first email, it could go out, let's say tomorrow. Let's say one goes out instantly, but then the, other, the next one, which is the sequence, the autoresponder, that goes out tomorrow. In those handful of emails that are going to go out tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day, the two things I'm trying to do is have them click and they end up going to another page where it's me on video teaching them something else. Staying on topic, right? Staying on topic, but just educating them even more. Now you can do that via text in an email, but I would take it a step further, which is what I do. I would take it a step further and, ha and write out a basic email, but then, hey, hey, John, and by the way, click here to watch my latest video on me talking about the kilowatts and all this other random stuff, right? And then they click, mm -hmm. they go to a Karcher page, and it's you on video. It could be a, yeah. a one-minute video, short video, but it's the fact that it's Brian on video. That's email number two, for example. And so on that page, let's say, for example, yeah, perfect. See, imagine, those, imagine video, videos like this, but all through your email series. Yeah. So this is the thank you page email just saying thank Perfect. you. So yep. I'll just keep adding yep. videos to my mm -hmm. In that thank you video, there's a few things you want to touch on. Okay. Number one, obviously you're, you're thanking them, obviously. Number two, you're introducing yourself. Number three, you're telling them to check their emails. That's okay, so let's, important. Let's see. Let's, let's see. What, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this. Go for it. No. You can't hear it? Not at all. Turn. That's is okay. There, is there a way that? 
Actually, I think uh, maybe because okay. your headphones are plugged in. Yeah. But that's, that's perfect right there, man. I can already tell it's perfect. But, but, but let's see if you touched on the four things. Number one, obviously thanking them. Number two, introducing yourself, a little background on you, nothing crazy, just a little background. And then number three, telling them to check their emails. Number one email, I just yeah. sent you an email, right? I just sent that welcome email, so check your email. But, but also, make sure you check your emails over the next few days because I have a ton of great value coming your way. Yep. Yeah. So now, now that's number three. So now I'm telling them, I'm programming them to, to expect my emails because I'm going to be teaching them a bunch of stuff. And then number four, I'm trying to get them to schedule a call. So right when they click on that, right when they see that thank you video, it's me at the end of it with the call to action. And hey, and by the way, if you'd like to schedule a call now, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. Yeah. So, so that, would, that would all go on a thank you video. But again, not everyone's gonna, gonna schedule a call that fast. So again, the emails, the emails, email number two and on should be another short video of you. That video is on a Kartra page. And then and, and, and it's, a, it's a basic page. And on that page below the video is a button to click to go to your calendar. It's all about getting them on the phone. So I wanna educate yep. them via video and then boom click the link below and, and that's the call to action at, at the end of all of my email videos. Hey, and by the way, guys, I'd love to talk to you. Click the link below, take you straight to my calendar. You know what I mean? So, so you in video via email would be crazy powerful as well. So it all starts, it all starts with, with the list, obviously the list, let's go ahead and create a list real quick. Let's create a list and this, and, and we'll just keep it simple on this one funnel. We'll just build out this one funnel real quick. So name it whatever you want. Opt-in leads. Try, yeah, try, yeah. Try on solar opt-in leads or leads or whatever makes sense, you know, for you. And then that description. Do you know what that is? No. Whenever a person goes and unsubscribes, like even you, like if you pull up your email box right now, you probably got a bunch of junk mail, probably spam mail. When you, whenever you go to the bottom of that email to unsubscribe, mm -hmm. they normally remind you of what that list was and what it is so it'll be a short you know one sentence you know of, of the name of the list that you're subscribed to so in this oh, okay. description i'll just put thank you for inquiring or thank you for your interest in solar or just reminding them that it's that that it's something that they inquired on thank you for inquiring or thank you for your interest perfect perfect cool okay so next Okay, so this is the list. So this is the list, and then back to list. Back to list, and then next. So each funnel, and, and just, just looking at the basics of it, landing page, thank you page, list, sequence. <clears throat> and then the calendar, and then the thank you page, the thank you for scheduling page, if, if and when they schedule an appointment from the calendar. So there's three pages, landing page, Thank you page. Thank you for scheduling page. Okay. Yeah. And then the list, it's one list. Actually, you know what? It's, it's two lists. So let's create one more list. Let's create a, a second list. And this is going to be for scheduled appointments. So anyone that hits that calendar, they're going to land on this list. And it's good to have them on a list because you obviously want to be able to segment these people and, and know that, okay, these people scheduled an appointment. These people have not. So when you go out there and run, you know, send out a future email, you'll, you'll hit the right list. Thank you for thank you for scheduling a call or thank you for scheduling your appointment or thank you for um, yeah something like that thank you for scheduling your appointment with Tryon Solar. Perfect, awesome, <clears throat> cool. So that's the list for the opt-in. That's the list for the calendar. Um, and then now, real quick, we might as well. <clears throat> there you go. Next, okay, cool. So we might as well just set up a quick at least just the layout. I'll show you how, how, how you lay it out and then you could just go in and, and write it out. But let's set up, let's set up the actual sequence, the actual email autoresponder. Okay. Um, so I don't know, do we go into here? Go edit? ahead and, and hover over communications at the top and okay. then click on sequences to the right. Actually, no, not that one. Up above in the middle. Oh, okay. Up here. Got it. Yeah. Sequences. And let me explain that real quick. This part, the broadcast Actually, let me start with the sequence. The sequence is, is going to be the email autoresponder. So the moment okay. they opt in, they're going to receive a handful of emails after that. That's what we're going to okay. set up right here. Now, let's say we set up five emails. Five emails are going out every other day. 
if that lead is still in the sequence and they're on day three, for example, or if that lead has already ended and the, and they're now, they're now on day 10 and they, you know, it was an email series of five emails and they're already way past that now. Whenever you want to throw out, throw out one single email, that's broadcast. Got it. So, so if you guys have a, a crazy promotion or all of a sudden 12 months, no payments, like some crazy, you know, promotion that we want to put out, you can broadcast, you can send out a broadcast to a specific list, or you could send out a broadcast to the entire leads, lead, lead database. So that's broadcast. Okay. But to automate everything, we'll set up a handful of emails through the sequence, and that's the, the autoresponder. So go ahead and click on the green button. And you can name this the same as you named the, the actual list, the opt-in list. And then the same, pu same public description as well. Bro, are you closing deals over Zoom or are you, are you actually in, in houses? It's earlier in the pandemic. Uh, it was like social distancing, obviously, now that it's been um, uh, gotten worse. Uh, it's been yeah. over Zoom. And so been, been, been over Zoom, which is new for, for us. Normally, uh, that was not how we did stuff here. We just mm -hmm. kind of did appointments. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just different doing over Zoom. It's... Uh, Obviously, it's harder, um, but uh, you know, um, but I can, you know, it's uh, yeah. just trying to um, uh, evolve and be the best at it because everyone's good in the same boat. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you'll evolve, dude. You'll you'll definitely start crushing it. And this is this is just the way to get to it, man. I, I truly believe Facebook ads. You could crush it, man. Um, this right here. A tutorial you could definitely go through this later but i'll just give you a, a huge you know crash course right now but read yeah. read through each one later just so you can kind of understand each each component of the actual builder but go ahead and start tutorial and then just hit next it's kind of mess with me all right perfect okay cool so this is where it all starts, so start and roll. And, and the start and roll can start from many different places. So, for example, the moment a person opts into a landing page, that's the start and roll. The moment someone buys a product, a digital product, but you're not going to be doing that, that could be a start and roll. So there's many different ways that a, pers that, that a lead can, can, can where we can track it here as start and roll, but in your case, it's going to be just straight opt-in. So go ahead and click on that plus and then click on edit. Or actually, yeah, right here. So perfect. So opt-in form, select the opt-in form, and that's the form. So anyone who opts into this form receives these following emails. Got it. Okay. So go ahead and click add. And what I do also, and click save. So this right here, it all this is this is where the welcome email. You can put the welcome email, the email that triggers right away. You can have a trigger right away or you don't need an email to go out right away, but totally up to you. But, but in most cases, you know, the moment you opt into something, you receive something right away. You can that's set, up how that set up. What's that? I think that's how I set it up. Yeah. Perfect. Did you set it up that way through the form? Yes. Perfect. Yeah, so that's yes. exactly what I was going to cover with you right now. There's two ways you can do it. You can set it up that welcome email through the form, or you can have that first email go out here. I did it through the form just because I was like, well, it wouldn't hurt. You know, I don't think mm -hmm. it would hurt. You could put the video in it. It could say immediately thank you. And then you can have this come after. I was like, might as well. Well, this can go out right away as well. Oh, was it? So okay. we can set this next email to go out immediately, which would be okay. the welcome email. But again, it's just, it's totally preference. It's totally up to you. That welcome can stay in the form, that initial email. And then, and then tomorrow okay. they're going to receive another email and that can come from here. All right. Okay. So. All you're going to do is to the left. Now you'll start, you'll, you'll learn more about um, tags and automation and split and go to and wait. Like you'll start learning about learning more about that, but just to, just so I don't like overwhelm you with all this information, keep it simple. Like just yeah. click that send email to the, to the left and just click it, hold it down and drag it right below. And this little, little lower, little lower, give it some right there. 
So all we're gonna do is we're gonna build out our emails. So this is email number two, actually. Email number one is the welcome one. So what I can do is I can wait a number of days. So let's wait a number of days. And that's why I'm saying, so previously after, or right after previous steps. So they opt in and then right away they get that welcome email, right? Okay. So it could have been, the welcome email could have been set here, which is how I do it, but it could totally stay in the form as well. Cool. Um, okay, so in this case, it's, it's total, it, you know, it's preference. Do you want to send them an email the next day? Do you want to wait a couple of days? I would I, like, if you next opt day. into my, what do you want to do next day? Yeah. Right. So yeah. I would, I would send it out the next day for sure. And, and, and either send one every day for the next five to seven days or send one every other day and maybe write out five to seven emails. Right. Yeah. And the, and these are all, Again, the objective is to get is to continue to educate them and also get them to schedule a call. So yeah. that's the whole objective with these emails, man. So yeah, wait, totally. wait one day and click on next. And then this right here, you can I leave that as default. I don't choose okay. hours. Um, so whatever time that person opted in, one day later, they're gonna receive it. But if I messed with that time, it would have kind of thrown it off. Next day email. Perfect. Okay. So this email right here actually has to be a, a, a business email. Yeah. So do you have a business email? Um, I do. Uh, I have it through Sun Solar Solutions. I have, they've given me an email, some email at sunsolarsolutions.com. Okay. Do you have, do you have, you don't have Brian I mean, at Tri I have, Solar? I have, I have Try and Solar, but it's just the Gmail account. No, that's totally fine. But do you, oh, have, okay. do you have, do you have, do you have try and uh, I have try and I have try and solar. As, I made a Gmail account through try and solar do email, but um, I do have try and I have uh, through WordPress. I could probably, you know, through WordPress, you know, set up my, my, an email, a business, whatever is easier for you. Like whatever is easier for you. Like could you that do email? Gmail? No, that cannot no, be a okay. Gmail right there, but okay. it, it can forward to a Gmail for sure. But right okay. there, it has to be, Brian at whatever, yeah, not yeah. Gmail, not Gmail. Um, it has to be. I, I, well, I, I could just, could I do be Mitchell at Sun Solutions? Heck yeah, uh, dude. Right now? Okay. Yeah, for sure. Use that one. And I can show you where we can, where we can add that to the master list. So you don't have to change it every time because if you don't add okay. it, you're going to have to change it every email you send out. <clears throat> Perfect, dude. Hit next. So as we're going through the steps here, this is how you would create each email in this sequence. So email number two, email number three, it's, okay. taking, it's going through this exact process right here. So, so here's what I normally do on, in this case, send if. Because sometimes a person will opt in especially if you're giving away something for free, a free download, a free gift card, whatever the hell you're, you're, you're offering. Sometimes, not all the time, but it happens sometimes. Sometimes a person will opt in just to get whatever the heck you're, you're offering and then they'll unsubscribe, right? So in this case, what I do is I put send if subscribed. So send if they're still subscribed. So send if subscribed to that initial list. So select list to the right. And it'll be the try and solar. Perfect. So as long as they're still subscribed, you know, because this is a day later, they could have unsubscribed yesterday, which yeah. is when they opted in. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. hit add. And then next. Perfect. That's all we need there. And then single email. And then here goes your actual email. And so as you, as you build out this, here's how I normally do this to really save you a lot of time and a lot of, you know, just headache. What I normally do is I'll go, because the way it's set right here, it's basic. It's in basic mode. So this is for basic text. Write out a basic text. Yeah. That's a random basic email. But what I do is I normally go into advanced so I can at least, I don't want to get, I don't need to get crazy, crazy pretty with it. Like if you click on, like for example, click on di design templates and then click on full templates. There's okay, a bunch cool. of different templates that you wow. can, you can work around. So scroll down. So this just wow. saves you a ton of time, dude. Like That's you awesome. Can, I didn't know about that. Yeah, man. Like you can, you can grab a template 
you can drag it over or watch, look at all of them, or you can obviously build your own. Yeah. So those are pretty hmm. cool. Cause you can just, it saves you a ton of time. Um, and then, and then it all starts here or well, actually to tell you the truth, that it all starts on your welcome email, but it either, or welcome email yeah. or here. It all starts with this first one because what I normally do is I'll grab a template or I'll build one, a simple one, and I don't I don't make it complex at all. Like, and that's the thing about emails. Like, you don't want your email like some. A lot, a lot of times these these templates are so they're too damn professional. You know, they're right. too corporate. They're too freaking. They're too. They look too damn good. Right. And sometimes so, in yeah. email that kind of backfires. You know, go to spam or that person will just think you're selling them some shit. Like, you yep. know, like I want a personal. Personal, like exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I try to keep it as basic as possible. Um, so do you use full templates or do you usually just kind of edit and make a? Yeah, I kind of just I kind of just create my own. But but the the main thing. So if you scroll down, you got headlines, you got text, you got content. So you could take each part and just build your own. And then, and then once I build my own, okay. here's what I was trying to say. Once I build this first one, I save as template to the bottom right. But Got once it. it's built, don't do it now. But once okay. it's built, save as template. And then I just have that template for email number three, email number four, and every email from that point on. And, and, and then whenever I create another email, I'll use that same template and then just obviously, you know, edit the text. But what really saves me the time is obviously the layout it keeps my branding consistent. That's what you want as well. As you start to build out sure. these pages, you want your colors to be consistent on these pages and on your emails, you want the emails, the template to be consistent, right? So, so yes. that little detail to your brand is, is super important. Um, and then also you wanna add, you wanna add a footer. So to the very, very bottom, you can add a footer. So if you go to the left, you can go back and, and find, find footers. Oh, but the trying. footers are really cool because it allows me to, to link my social media icons. Yeah. Okay. So I'll use like that basic one at the top, something clean, you know what I mean? Like something simple and clean, take that, drag that down. And then there goes my you okay. know, copyrights. I'll put try on solar and then boom, I'll link up all those links right there. I'll take, I'll take off the envelope because I don't know why the envelope is even there. Like, no, actually, no, not that. Oh, yeah, 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 I got it. I got you. But just, you got to click on it, click on just the envelope, and then you can delete it from there. There we go. Perfect. Not bad. So I'll link those, and those are the only ones that, that they provide. I don't know why they don't have the other icons, but that's that's good enough. But I'll link those. I'll change that copyright, put Try on Solar 2020, and then, and then once, I, um, once I at least have this layout down, I'll save as template. And then just keep using that same one. Got it. Yeah. I don't, uh, yeah. Thank you. This is it looks yeah, dude, for sure. And then and then put some type of subject for now. The subject line, just so we can save this and and then move on. And then also, what I do a lot is I um, click on dynamic variables to the left. So dynamic variables, I always call them out by their first name just to get even yeah. more personal, right? Like sometimes yep. depend on, I, I guess, I guess depending on a level of respect or depend on who we're talking to, we'll say Mr. or Mrs. I mean, I'm sure you're on a lot of, you know, appointments where you're maybe addressing them by their last name, but in their, but in an email, I kind of tend to just use their first name and I, and, and that's the, the variable right there. So okay. you can just copy that and then, and then paste it wherever you want. You can cool. paste it in the subject Very line. Cool. You can paste it in the text and the body. Um, yeah, you can hit that and then just, um, paste it wherever you want. Actually you would, you would, are you on a PC? Uh, Mac. Okay. I don't know what your control on a PC is control V, but on right. Mac, what was it? What did you press? Oh, I just did it with my, uh, mouse, but, uh, Oh, you were able to paste it with your mouse. Uh, I can do a copy command C. And yeah, it's command C. So that I, it's actually, yeah, better to do it on your keyboard for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Command C on yours? Uh, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. So putting their first name anywhere and everywhere, dude, all over the emails is, is you know, personal. Cool. I like that. So, um, Very cool. So what I would do is, watch, go to the bottom, and, and just for the hell of it, save it as a template. Okay. And then, and then we'll just use it for the next email. But, but once you do finalize that template, meaning you put the icons, you link the icons, you change out that copyright, save that one and then delete this one. 
Does that kind of make sense? Yes. So for example, yes. if you if you click on dynamic variables to the left, upper left, click on that, and then click on design templates, and then click on my favorites. So it's going to be right here, but it's not linked, right? So the copyright's still off. So you don't want to you don't want to keep saving a bunch of old ones. Just get one master copy. Yeah. Right. And then and then and then save it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then cool. You can just delete that from there. So. Yeah. So that's that, dude. That's um. Let's save this. And then what we're gonna what we're gonna do is once we get out of this X out of that, you're going to um go to the very, very top, hit next. And then automations, you'll learn more about automations later. You don't that's not really necessary okay. right now at all. But automations are everything, 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 everything. But once you get the ball rolling, once you start capturing leads, you'll start learning about automations. So Great. click on create. And then it'll bring you back over here where you have to activate it. So you just click on the three dots or hover over the three dots down Shoot. right where it says inactive. There's those three dots to the right of inactive. Oh, I got you. My bad. Okay. Right there. No, it's all good. Activate. Activate. And then boom. And then all you're going to do is connect the half moon. So the gray. Yeah. Right there. Connect it up. Don't drag it. Just connect the, um, just, just Shit. try to hover over the, the half moon, the gray part. Sorry, that little half circle. Oh, this right there. part right here. Yeah, you're gonna oh, it's keep you're grabbing. Gonna, it, it keeps grabbing that thing. Is that what I want to grab right to, there? No, no, not the whole thing. You want to you want try the top one. Try maybe underneath underneath the starting rules. There we go. Uh, Connect okay. it to the to the half moon. Connect it to the gray. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing is like I've never yeah. worked on a I'm like it's a grid, but I kind of get it. You're like making a web of. Yes, dude. You're connecting. Of, yeah, you're making a web. Uh, and then hit that to the very, very top, that little, um, those three bars or those hamburger, whatever the hell you call it, the very, very top of your page. Very, yeah, right there. Hit that and that arranges it. Ah, uh, so right, now, now you now can, I, I get it. Okay. You could build it down or you can build it from left to right. So if you click on that one to the right of it, of that arrange, click on that, it gives you the horizontal view. Got it. So you can build it out to the right or you can okay. build down. All right. Yeah. So that's the first email. You can always change what day you leave, you, you send it out. This one's, you know, set to go out the next day. So from email number two, three, four, and on, man, all you're going to do is click send email, drag it, drop cool. it. And that's the next email. That's, this is cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So this right here is super powerful, man. Game changer, bro. Just the email autoresponder. And then, and then again, just to kind of give you, you know, some ideas of that email, as I, as I mentioned earlier, is get, get a handful of videos made, man. Get a handful of videos made. Educate me on the process. Educate me on the, on the, on the solar process from beginning to end. That's what I would do, man. I, I, would, educate, I would educate these leads that are coming in, you know, yeah. and, and yeah, do it in absolutely. video form. Screen share like this if you need to. And, and maybe, maybe even start, start, you know, start thinking of, of, of different, um, or not even start thinking, just start doing, start doing next time you close your next deal, bro. Like that video right there can easily be in your email. It's like, here's, like, here's some videos I've, uh, this is, uh, about yes, insurance. Dude. This bro, is, I yep. clean my panels right here. Yep. And then we changed the, uh, we looked at the, uh, production yep. changes and here's my, uh, CPA and we did a, uh, chat about the tax how to, to do the tax incentive and this is looking we do a dive into my bill and we talk Bro. about what the solar bill looks like Th then, those are those are seven emails right those are six emails yeah. right there dude that's what i'm saying that video but it's not going to link them to in fact shit i mean it can you can easily in that first email in every email you can easily add a button or mm -hmm. hyperlink a word and say, hey guys, or hey John, like you put their first name right. Hey John, check out this video I put on my Facebook page. Click here, you're really gonna enjoy it. Yeah. And they click, and it takes them straight to that video on Facebook. But I can uh, I can embed it in the whatever in the email if I put it if I upload it directly to Kartra, right? And it wouldn't be you can, but it wouldn't be embedded in the email. Okay. You'd have to put it on a page. So oh, that's yeah, okay, what I do. Okay. Okay. So I put it up, put it on a page, and then when I'm making my email. I haven't done this yet, but I could, I could attach the page to the email. Yes. Let me, okay. let me show you an example. Let me, let me give you an example of, I'm actually in a client's account right now, but let me see if he has, 
let me see if he has like what I'm referring to. This is an idea for for you. Actually, he doesn't have. Uh, that's the thank you page. Okay, let me just let me show you. Let me show you in my account. Um. Actually, you know what? This is a perfect example of a of a different client of mine. This is her whole email layout. So as a as a lead gets to her funnel, goes through her funnel. These are the handful of emails that she sends them. Do you want me to stop sharing? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. My bad. I thought you were looking at my screen. All right, now I can see what you're doing. Okay, so this is an example. So the email goes out. She says, click here to watch my newest video on negotiations. And then boom, they click from the email and they come to a page. Got it. Okay. And, and on this page, yeah, this is way better than clicking them and having them to go watch the video on Facebook because yeah. the whole purpose of bringing them here, there's, 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 there's um, three main reasons why I would rather bring them to a, a page versus taking them to a YouTube video or a Facebook video. Three reasons. Reason number one is so I can put my Facebook pixel on this page. Yep. I need to be able to pixel them. Reason number two, I can keep their attention. So now they're not looking at a bunch of random shit on Facebook or on YouTube. I have their attention. They're on one page. They see one video. I have their full attention. And then number three, there's my call to action to get them to schedule a call. So at the end of every video, hey guys, and by the way, I'd love to chat with you. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to speak to you. So at the end of every video, man, and so she has all these pages you know, set up, individual pages, simple video on a page, and these are her, this is her yep. email sequence. Okay, so, so you, can do, you can easily do the same thing, man, with all those other videos. Go ahead and share your screen. With all those videos you have on Facebook, like you can, yeah, for sure, embed them into Kartra and then put them onto a Kartra page. Okay, so that, so that right, in fact, you know what, let me, let me show you real quick. Open, open back up that email. Hit the three dots on next day email. Hit, okay. the, hit the three dots and go to edit. And then from here, you don't really need to change anything else. All this other stuff, delay, date and time, communication, gateway, that's all what we set up through the steps we, went, we just went through. So that's all that is. Anytime we come back into it, it's really just changing the email content. Okay. So just going, going to the right and clicking on that pencil to the right of, of, yeah, right there. There you go. Okay. So here, what we can do is if you click on design templates to the left, you can either add a button and in that button, it would link them okay. to your page or you can simply hyperlink a word and, and have them, you know, have them go there. But I, it, okay. I would for sure put a button, click here to watch my newest video on freaking LG panels or whatever the hell you're talking about. Right, right, right. You know, cool, cool. and so hover over the button real quick and then hit the pink pencil. There you go. That's where you would add the link. That's okay. where you can change the color. That's where you can write the text out. And this would be like the, the uh, Kartra URL? Page. Yes. Page. Yes. Yep. So okay. I just need to make it every time I want to do a new one of these videos or whatever, I just uh, go to pages, make a new page, put the video on the page, and then publish it and get the link from it, and then I can add it in here. Just like, yes, but there's an easier way as well. All just right. like this, we're laying out the email we're going to have now a template and we're going to save as a template. We're going to save it to our favorites, right? With those pages that we want to send out with each email, all we got to do is create one and then we clone it after that. Okay. All right, so, all right. so yeah, you can just multi duplicate it, duplicate it, and then just change out the next video. So yeah, so hit, hit the green one, the top green. Let's exit. Let's yeah, let's edit and then let's get out of that. So just, yeah, update that button later on. Um, and then just create the next, you know, the next handful of emails. Got it. So close. And then you always want to hit done and exit to the right. Like never click out any other way. Like always hit that green button done and exit. Cause okay. then that won't save. Okay, cool. So that's the sequence. So we got our list, we got our sequence. And then now let's go to, let's go to my pages. Oh shoot. I think it was there. Let's go. I already have tab open. There we go. 
Okay, so we got the we got the thank you page. Now we need an opt-in page. We have the form. Um, we have both forms, calendar form and the opt-in form. Um, and then you got to set up your calendar. And that's pretty much it, man. That's a full-blown funnel. Um, so, so how do you, now real quick, how do you, when you do um, the, the first, the main page, um, which one of these do you select? Do you do squeeze pages, um, you know? Yes. Pages, stuff. Have like you that. looked at all of them? Um, not every single one of them. Okay. But, uh, what I normally do is I go with squeeze page for sure. Squeeze page, but even video sales page. And, and to tell you, tell you the truth, you can go with anything because you can delete true. any part of the page and you can create whatever the hell you want around it. Like, so you can really go with anything, but at the same time, it is labeled squeeze page for a reason because the template is already there and all you gotta do is build around it. So you can either go with a squeeze page. You can go with a video sales page. You can go with a product launch page. Like, take a look at all of them. Like, yeah. Let, did you choose? Yeah. I Whichever. just chose one. Um, so, cool. like, the main the main page, it's not a thank you page. What, what do you call your main page? Like, your... Opt-in just, page. Opt. Okay. Yeah, opt-in page, but then I'll also get more specific with it. And, and, and but, but again, if this is the only funnel you're working on right now, then, yeah, you can be general like that. But as you start to build out more funnels then you'll start to name them, you know, more specifically, but then also in the category, don't hit create just yet. Start, let, let, let's start creating categories as well. Cause that's going right. to be, that's going to be super important. So go ahead and click on, um, get out of that part. Yeah. Right there. Manage. Actually you go back. I'm sorry. Go oh, back. Click fine. the, click, click the green button. Let's go back. To, let's go back. Okay. So right there where it says manage. Yeah, right there. We're going to create a category. All right. What do we call it in this one? I, I don't Solar opt-in leads or solar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Add and then hit done. And then put it in that category. And then page within a site shared Google. So what about this? What so is this? You, you can leave that one. Actually leave click it. on it and then just go to um, no site in particular. Okay. Yeah. yeah, there you go. All right. So, and then for the pages, um, once I hit publish, it's live. And if I want to go onto Facebook and I start creating my ad or whatever, um, and then ask me if I want to use an outside form and I can just mm -hmm. go to Kartra, get the, the, It'll, it'll show me like get a yep. link and that's the link yep. I use. Okay. Hell yeah. And, and actually as you go in, it's going to be conversions. So you're going to, you're going to run conversions right. and, and, and despite anything else you may have heard or learned, it's, it's conversions, it's conversions, traffic, tra you'll, you'll, it's no, yeah, I've, I've, you've got to be convinced on conversions. I've yeah. Yeah. It's conversions, heard. dude. Anyone's looking to capture lead, it's, it's conversions. Actually, I read a really good um, article yesterday. They uh, did a very in-depth um, comparison between um, conversion ads and Facebook's own lead gen ads mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with um, a lot of money behind it and a lot of information behind it. Yeah. And uh, it was kind of what we'd expect. The Facebook lead gen ads, they got more of um, like higher on the funnel where it's like less conversions. Um, but so you got more, but you didn't get as many conversions. Mm -hmm. And then uh, with the conversions ad, you kind of just got, closer down the, to down the tunnel, the, down the funnel, because you have to go through more steps. And, yep. um, so you don't get as many, but you get better the conversion quality. rate. Yeah. The quality goes up. Yeah. And, and there's no more steps involved. Like with the lead form ad, there's multiple steps, meaning you have to get, because those leads go into Facebook. So right. you're either going to have to go out there and get a third party software like Zapier, which connects to your MailChimp or connects to any other autoresponder, right? So now you're paying for an email autoresponder. Now you're paying for Zapier. And now, and now you have to export those leads. If you're not going to pay for Zapier, because Zapier is the middle man, the software in between your email autoresponder and Facebook. If you're not going to pay for Zapier, then you're going to be manually downloading those leads every day yourself, uploading them into an email autoresponder. And that's just more steps than I care to do. 
Like I want the Absolutely. entire thing to be automated. So I yeah, have and to this take is, it to a landing page. This is great. Yeah, you know, for sure. So here's the first thing I do when I come into a page, when I come into any page, thank you page, landing page, whatever. The very first thing I do the moment this thing opens up is I'll go to settings to the left, click on that, and then I'll click on SEO parameters and I'll make sure that the title of that page is changed because that's the title that shows up in the tab at the top. Oh, okay. So yeah. I named it that internally, but I don't need the public seeing that in the tab. Got it. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah. The, geez, you, I, you wouldn't know what I, mean? I wouldn't have known that. Yeah. And then, and then down below the description, the keywords, the author, all that is important for the landing page. It's not okay. important for the thank you page or really any other page because that right there is what pulls on social media. So when you go and share this link on social media and you click enter and you post, it's for Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, you go and post this link because you would most likely share this link. You're, you'll run Facebook ads and you'll probably just share it randomly as well. As you share it, there's content that shows right below and that's that right there. So yep. you want to okay. put something there um, and then also an image because that's the image that's going to show on social media. Okay. So again, it's, it's really only for the landing page because that's the only page you'll ever share really. Okay. You know, so um, adding an image and just filling this part out, it's really just the top part. It's the description, um, the keywords, the author could be your name, the title, um, and that's it. What about the keywords? Um, do you just put in like a word and a comma and a... Yes. Okay. Solar, residential solar, rooftop solar, like so many different keywords. You don't have to put in a ton. Yeah. But um, uh, putting in a few is, is it won't, won't hurt. Okay. So, that, so that's, that's that. And then you the always click that, that green button apply. You'll always right. click that button down at the bottom. Anytime you see a green button, dude, always click it. And then that's that. And then right below, when you hit, yeah, when you go to the left, hit that arrow, go back. Yeah, there you go. So that tracking code right below, that's where your Facebook pixel would go. So at the very, very bottom, okay. that's where your okay. pixel goes. Okay. Got it. So this right so here. Should I you, take my pixel off of my WordPress site? Or can no, it, it, can, it, can, it can be it can on both? There. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you could for sure keep it there. Um, just put it here as well but see you which page did you this was not a squeeze page which what did you choose a uh, squeeze page did you i did yeah uh yeah i swear i it was in the squeeze pages uh, i just picked the one on the top right uh let's go i mean shit there's nothing wrong with this but this is a full-blown website you know what i mean oh really i well, well yeah, I, just, uh, I didn't really take a long look i was just uh, let's let's go back let's get out of this one okay. let's um Let's just return a dashboard. Like to the very, very right. So you, so right here, I'm always save progress. I'll always publish live and then I'll return a dashboard. So it's kind of a three-step thing. I think you can go straight to publish live, but. But I don't want to, I, I don't want to save this. So. Yeah, it's all good. You can delete it. You can always delete it. Okay. So go ahead and yeah, you hit the three dots and then just delete. See, so right there, did you see where it said clone? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so okay. we're going to have a, a landing page. We're going to have a thank you page. We're going to have a thank you for scheduling page. So right when they go to your calendar, they schedule an appointment, they go to a thank you for scheduling page. And then after that, you're going to have a page for each email. And those are the ones that you'll just clone. You'll create one, click the three dots and just clone 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 because those are going to be those are going to be basic pages with a video on it yeah so yeah so hit done right here perfect done okay cool so that's the thank you page and then let's let's so let's hit the bottom the bottom green the plus yeah the, there we go oh i don't know what i just did here i thought i was <laughs> um I don't know what I, it's, I don't it's know all what good I Okay. So, so squeeze pages. This is the one I clicked right here. Oh, that's the one you clicked. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so it is there. It just looked, it just looked more like a full blown website, yeah. but, um, something like this. Let's see. Scroll down. Let's see. Let's see some different ones. 
that one right to the right, that one's not bad. Even the one to the left, you know, changing out that chick and putting, you know, maybe like a, like a residential home, like with solar panels on it. Um, I think, I think the one to the right is the one that I, that I sent you the, the other day. Okay. That one. But again, it's all preference, dude. Like you can for sure choose any one, but with the squeeze page, you kind of, and then again, you can delete whatever you want on it. You can add whatever you want in it, but the squeeze page, it's, it's primarily designed to just be basic, like opt-in yeah. form and that's Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You know Absolutely. I mean? And then do you have, um, do you have on here, actually, you know what? F Karcher now has that function, so you don't even need that third-party software that I was going to have you download, which is Color Pick Eyedropper. Like, are you familiar with Color Pick Eyedropper? Uh, no, uh, but it's, it's just like a color on. wheel where you can match colors. So if this mm -hmm. blue, if that's our color, we want to yep. be able to match that color identically on each page. And, and, and okay. the color pick eyedropper just allows you to hover over the color and get the exact code. And then you can use that code over and over and over. But inside of Kartra, you can now save it. So it's not even necessary. Okay. So yeah, so this right here could be super simple, man. Super basic headline. Yeah, this is better, yeah. Yeah, a few bullet points. You can change out that image and that's it. So let's do this. So again, first thing we do when we come to the page, settings, change that title. Perfect. And then you can always fill that stuff out later. But let me just give you give you the, the, the basics of everything. So now you'll hover over that placeholder to this holder down right where it says placeholder holder, the form. Oh shoot, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. So let's edit that one. Click on the pencil. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie it to the form that you set up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. There we go. Perfect. So that's that. And then the button, you can change the button. Um, click on button right there. How come, the it has, how come it has my name and my email? Will that do it for everybody? No, Kartra, they're reading your IP address. So the way their system is set up, it's what they call like a quote unquote smart system where it pre-populates any information that came through a form previously. Huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, dude. So, so, so I just that that that's gonna show up for people when they see it. Almost like they won't. No, no, hell no. It's not in. gonna show up on their end. Not a, it's only showing up on I mean, your end. I mean, for them, like if they open it, would it or auto populate for them? Oh yeah, it'll auto populate Sometimes. for them. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, it won't auto populate unless they filled out a form before. Got so it. So you got it. you must have filled out the form before. That's mm -hmm. why your okay. information's preset already. Got it. So did you, you had to have, you had to fill out <laughs> the form earlier? I must have. Did you? Yeah. I don't so that right there is, is yeah, that won't show up on anyone's. On no, anyone's I just, it'll auto populate if they had done a form before. Yeah. Got if it. they filled out a form before. Yeah. A Kartra form before. Not a, not a random form, a Kartra form. So click on button right to the top, to the left above the yeah there you go and then that's where you can change the submit okay. now you can change the color um, cool. you can do all that right there and then let's um so the icons what i normally do let me have you let me have you clean out the bottom of the page so x out of that part on on a landing page what i normally do is i'll take out the all of those i'll take out all the social media platforms okay you don't want to get them distracted yeah i don't want them going anywhere else right now and you can either take them all out individually, but then you're going to have an, um, yeah, or, or you can hover over like that, but don't do that. Don't delete, don't delete it. Or you can hover over like that and you can delete the whole thing. But in this, in this, in this section, what we're going to do is we're going to delete about us and contact us. Let's get rid of that. All of that would stay the same. The social media icons about us, contact us. I would leave the entire footer on the thank you page, but not on the opt-in. Okay. 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 So the privacy policy and the terms of use are, are mandatory for Facebook ads. Do so I have to, have to hype, or have to link something in uh, to yes. get my privacy policy? What, like right what I would do or, is, do you have a company website? Uh, well, 
I don't. I mean, the company has a website, but um, what I did for my own privacy policy, I just went to like a I generator, forgot, a, a generator, and then yeah, I actually put it in right here in my notes, and then I used this link. Yeah, dude, perfect. Right here, and I used this, you know, the link on this for that, and so I could do the same thing. Oh shoot, I could do the same thing in this situation. Just. Uh, Oh my you, gosh. You could do it that way, or okay. you can simply copy the entire thing and simply paste it into a Kartra page. Oh, okay. Or I could do it through a Kartra page. Okay. Yeah, you could do it, it through it, a Kartra page. Yeah. Okay. So um link to another Kartra page if I had it as so, yeah, so let's, we'll create it. Yeah, we'll create it. It'll, okay. it'll be down here. So that's how you would get to it for sure. Link to another cartridge page. You'll hit the drop down and you'll see it right below. Okay. So let's hit say, click the green one and um, the green to the top right. And let's um, say progress and then publish live. And this is the link right here that you would simply give to Facebook. So Facebook that learn more button. So when they see your ad, they yeah. click learn more. That's the link they're going to. Okay. Okay. So what I would do though, is I would, I would customize that somewhat. So click the pencil and just change out that GSV three or whatever. You can easily put, you know, freaking whatever, like free solar quote or solar quote or yeah, whatever the hell, free solar quote. Perfect. So that's the, that's a link to your initial page to your life. Okay, okay. Okay. Very cool. Okay. So, um, yeah, I would, I would copy that, open it up in a new tab and just bookmark it. Like you always want to keep that thing on, on deck. Okay. So, um, so in, so now we'll go into my forms because this right here, if you click on that submit now, Click on it real quick. It's not gonna actually you know what we gotta set up a form actually, but click on it, it's not gonna it's not gonna take you anywhere, right? If you click on it, yeah, it's not taking you anywhere. So let's let's set up the form. It's taking you straight to the thank you. So let's set up the form real quick. We set up we set up the form, but we have, we have to set up a different type of form. So go back, yeah, right here. So close out this. So although we linked it. Actually, you know what? Now we got to set up the, the actual, um, um, yeah, let's go to my form. So let's, let's X out of this. So, so hit the green button in the top right and then go to return to dashboard. Perfect. Return to dashboard and then go to, go to my forms and let's just make sure, hit the three dots. Let's edit this. Let's make sure it's going to the right page. So the moment they fill out the form, that's the information we're asking for. And then save and next. Perfect. So it's going to the thank you page. Perfect. So we're good. We're good there. Okay, cool. So, and then what you want to do also is, did you change the title of the tab on the thank you page? Uh, I probably did not do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for sure. Do that. Um, but you see how you just went back straight to it? Try to oh, yeah, always don't. <laughs> yeah, try to always <laughs> shoot spin it out. No, it's all good. Uh, but I'm pretty. Yeah, you didn't really say. I didn't, didn't say I didn't, anything. I didn't change anything. So yeah, you didn't yeah, change yeah, anything. So you. it's all good. But just try to yeah get in the habit of of going through. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Definitely want to change the title there. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it says thank you, Paige. So yeah, maybe just take out maybe. And what I do, depend on what you're trying to do on that thank you page, you know, I would think the call to action would be to schedule a call. So I would put something like schedule your call now, or I don't know, something like, or, or, or you could just put thank you, totally up to you. Um, it just depends on, you know, if you're trying to, yeah, you're trying to get them to get a call for sure. Yeah, no, I'll probably actually mess around with this because maybe i could put in a button right here that'll yep. link them back to uh link them to your calendar yeah okay yeah that's what i would do in this cool. one so i would be telling them in this video to schedule a call 
or, or, or to expect my call or something like that. If you ask for their phone number up front, then maybe let them know, hey, I'll be calling you within the next 24 hours. Here's what I'm going to need you to have, you know, ready for me, a copy of your utility bill or whatever. Yeah. You know, so I would prep them in that video for whatever is going to happen next. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so. Um, I put my so, pixel on here too. Yeah. So here's the deal yep. about, and, and and I don't know if you've seen the my conversions video or. or yeah, I did. Conversion ads. I, I watched the three of them, yeah. Awesome. So this, this thank you page, this is what you set up the conversions around. So that's my question is the, if the, my pixel is on my uh, WordPress, it's on the main page, it's on the thank you page. That's fine. When I run conversions and I am I running conversions uh, and I go to my pixel on Facebook and I go to run a conversion on it, uh, how do I make sure it's looking at the conversion, the thank you page conversion? I just Maybe I'm lost on how that works. No, no, no. You're, you, you're, you're right. You're right there. You're right there. The pixel up, let me put it this way. A pixel, a pixel can kind of, can pretty much be on any page. It really comes down to which page you're running traffic to. So if you're running an ad to this funnel, for example, the pixel is already on the page. The pixel will be on the page and that's all that matters. But if we're running conversion ad, if we're running actual conversion Facebook ads, then this thank you page needs to be set up as a custom conversion. So your pixel is one thing, but setting it up as a custom conversion is another. Okay. And so, in fact, let me just show you how to do it real quick. Go to your thank you page. Grab the, um, get, get, get code or yeah, get that one. And let's just also, let's change out the link. So get put on, get, uh, click on get the page link. Let's customize that link real quick. It could be thank you. It could be schedule call now. It could be whatever. Perfect. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy the entire URL except for the HTTPS. Just copy from the T and on. Okay. So copy that. This is a custom conversion. So let's go to ads manager right there. Actually, you click on the ads, ads manager. Yeah. It's already open. This. Uh, oh, the Zoom thing is in your way. Oh, come on. Can I move this? Uh, yeah, you can drag it down. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So in here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on those dots to the left. Yeah, there you go. And then click on um, events manager. Okay, cool. So this is where we set up the custom conversion and this will be for ad number two. So for example, you got the intro, you got that video view ad running right now. You'll get a few thousand people to view it. And when you go run Facebook ad number two, you're going to retarget all those people, yep. but you're going to run it as conversions. So hover over the, the um, plus sign to the left and you'll go to custom conversions. Actually cancel out of this one. Custom uh, conversions. There we go. Okay. So hit the blue button. Got it. Oh, okay. So I haven't been here before. Yeah. So just name it. Put, um, um, in fact, it'd be that maybe that same one, Try and Solar Leads. Should, and this is, the, this is the thank you page. This is the thank you page. Okay. So scroll down and right there in the URL, add URL to the, no, actually, no, not right there. I was just going to do a description. Oh, okay. You, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, so the URL so right below. Right here? Yeah. Paste it in here? Yeah. Okay, cool. So then now, um, you got that scroll down? Scroll down? Actually, you should um, click on the link again. The URL. Yeah, click on that. And okay. then go to the right, right after thank you, click on, click enter. So right after thank you, like, yeah, right there. Enter. Oh, uh, you want me to yeah. click on this? No, 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 plus? no. Just click, just click enter. Click. Just. Okay. All right. That crate should have opened up. Um, hmm. Let's try it again. Um, so click, yeah, hit, click it. Like 
There we go. Like that? Okay. All Perfect. right. So it's because I was doing it through my mouse yes. probably. Okay. So hit create and there goes your, your custom conversion. So as you go and run a conversions ad, that's the, the one you'll be, you'll be, um, shoot. So I just tied that thank you page URL to my pixel and it's in a custom conversion. So when I go to create a custom, custom conversion, it's all set already. Yes. Okay. When you, when you go in, there's three steps when you set up the ad, right? Step number one, you're choosing the objective, which is conversions. Right. Step number two, which is the ad set. That's where you're choosing the location, the budget, the detail targeting. Um, and that's where you're also choosing this conversion. So you'll be able to see it in the drop down. You just click, you'll see it yep. in the drop down, and you'll you'll choose that one right there. Okay. Right. So sometimes it takes a few minutes to update, but go to actually, you know what? The the, the pixel has to be on that page. That's why it's not lit up. There so you we gotta go. put That's your why, pixel yeah. on that thank you page. So I need to go. How do I find the pixel? Go on to um, go back to events manager. Click on events manager. Uh, okay. And data then data, sources. yeah, data sources. Oops. Come on. Okay, cool. Now click on the add events right there to the bottom, add events to the bottom right there. And then from, yeah, there you go from a new website. So in, install code manually, copy code, the green one, and that's it. So now go to your, go to your page, your cartridge pages and put that code on each page. Okay. Shit. Oh, I got to move this guy. All right, so if I want to put it like for on this page. Yes, so just edit. Edit. And then go to settings. SEO. And then also start putting everything in, in the category as well. That one, this page is not in a, in a category. Okay. So the only other page that you'll need is, is your um, thank you for scheduling page. Okay. So... So yes, yeah, so if yeah. if if they the thank you for scheduling page is that like an email? No, that's after the calendar. So if someone's after the calendar, calendar, got it. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Oh, tracking code. Right. There you go. Very bottom. There you go. I'm gonna do it like that. Cool. Perfect. So then, yeah, so you're good there. So then save progress and then publish live. All right. Well, it, it said it applied. Yeah, you're so, good. Okay. So now just, now just save progress to the top right. Saving in progress. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's still working. Okay. No, you're good. You can exit of that. Oh, I can. And then just, um, and then hmm. publish live. It's you not letting me. Hit the X. You see it right there to the top, right there above. You see it? Yeah, I see an X right, right above. Is your zoom thing in the way? Oh, that's why. Oh, there it is. Uh, damn that zoom. Yeah, thing you can there. get okay. that zoom thing out the way, dude. Like that thing is such a pain. I don't even know where a good spot for it is. Okay, so we'll go to publish live. Publish page. Okay. Close. Okay, cool. You're good with Go that. Here. So we're good. Continue. Yeah, actually, yeah, but you don't really need anything else. You could just um put I was that. just gonna see I was just gonna see if we could see if it changed. So now go to the thank you page. Sometimes it takes a few minutes to update, but sometimes it's fast. Go to the, the actual thank you page. Go to the, the one that's already open the, in the tab. Oh, oh, got it, got it, got it. And refresh that page. Do you have Facebook Pixel Helper on this? Yeah. Let's okay, see. Here go. Right Perfect. here. There you go. See how it's lit up? Yeah, cool. 
Yeah, so the pixels on that page now. Now go to um, the ads manager and try refreshing this. Actually go to, um, go to custom conversions, go to hit the plus sign or there, there we go. Yeah, custom conversions. And then refresh this page. Yeah, sometimes it takes a few minutes, but that okay. will show active. Okay. Yeah, they'll show active as, as people start to go to the page. Hmm. It's, I was just wondering, the try and solar leads. That's that the one, one you just created, but the top one. Wouldn't the other one, I what I'd done a long time ago, which my would have been yeah. think, the landing page. Um, Is that your WordPress page, maybe? Uh. Shoot, which one, is this one I did? I do try and solar leads. I think that yeah. might be the old one. You just did no? that one right now. Okay. Click on the drop so down to the very right. I think it. I think it shows the date. I think. Okay, so yeah, that's the one I just did. Is the try and solar leads, and this one yeah. is the one I did a long time ago. Okay. And, uh, it says inactive. Huh. Yeah, you can delete that one. Hit manage to the left, bottom left. Oh. Um, yeah. Hit the drop down and then go to manage. Right. Okay. And then you can, yeah, there you go. That drop down right there and then delete. Okay. Because we're not going to use this as yeah. kind of custom conversions. I wonder why it was inactive though. What, this one right here? The other one, because it was, was the other one? it's been on for a while. I didn't, I just, maybe I don't know how it works. Have, have did any leads come through it? Um, you know, I submitted myself <laughs> a couple yeah, it times. Been, it should have so been active. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll, Maybe it'll we'll test this Karcher out and it'll probably work. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's that. And then just add the pixel to the other pages and then okay. and then you're good. Um, okay, I can do that. Yeah. But then also add one more page for your call. So get out of this one. Try to try to never really leave the page idling like this. Like go back. Yeah, click on that. Like always get out of this if you can. Okay. Okay. Like publish live and then just and just return a dashboard. Cause I lost so many pages. I lost so many like pieces of work, like just cause I left it like this and I come okay. back and the freaking something yeah, no, crashes. I, you know what I mean? I, I feel you. I feel you. Okay. So if anything, one other page for your, for your scheduled appointments okay. and then, and then setting your calendar up is what you'll, you'll want to do as well. So this could be a thank you page for sure. So which one would you suggest? Shit, I mean it's all preference, like, bro. Like, if 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 anything, I would I would suggest anything with the video. Like, I'd put your video on everything, bro. Like, I this would. This is the one I used last time, so. Yeah, maybe use the same one. Yeah. Keep everything, you know, consistent. It's kind of my color, so. Perfect. All right. Thank uh, you for scheduling. Jeez. Schedule. Category to do a new one. Um, you can. This one's gonna be. This one's gonna be more generic, more like general. So, but you only ha you only have one. You know, one type of business you're putting through here anyway. So I would yeah. put everything in the solar solar opt in leads. You can or not even put it in a category. It's up to you. Perfect. So this right here. And then, so the Facebook pixel would go on this page as well. Um, and then, and then you would also set up this page as another, another custom conversion. You would set it up as a custom conversion okay. and you would set it up as a custom audience. So you want, okay. you want everyone who lands here in a custom audience. You want everyone who lands on the thank you page in a custom audience. Yeah. Okay. And I could do that. Okay. So, right, so I will add my pixel on here. And then yeah, add your pixel, put, change the title of the page, um, and then throw a video in there, man. Hey, guys, this is Brian. Just want to say thank you for scheduling. Here's what you can expect. I look forward to calling you. You know what I mean? Like a little short 30-second video, dude, mm -hmm. would look really good right there. All right. Yep. Okay, no, thank you. Those pages are there. I will edit them. I'll put the pixel on them. I'll them into some custom audiences and custom versions so we can start yes, running ads. Dude.
and try to jump on if whenever I know you're busy during the day, like we're all busy during the day, but, but I'll always try my best to jump on the live Q and a calls every week. Um, every Tuesday and okay. Thursday, Karcher has a support Q and a call. Like they do screen share and they answer any question coming in. So it's okay. kind of good. Just, it's an hour call, but um, it's at 1 PM. So it's not at the best time. I mean, Tuesday, Thursday is 1 PM. But if you register, they also send you the replay. So you can watch the replay whenever. But I watch those replays to this day, man. Like I watch those calls. Okay. It's all part of my schedule. Like that's how I learn all this shit. Yeah. Like these people are super smart, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Just education, get ahead of the game. We're yeah, doing dude. these sequences. And I, you know, I put in a couple of them with you. Are, are these live? Like once I, once I, you know, finish editing and I finish and I publish them and I do my pixel. Mm -hmm. and uh are is the is this email autoresponder gonna work with my form yep i didn't have to do anything else it's those nope. besides adding in them yep everything is set okay. to go because you set it in start and rule anyone who opts into this form receives okay. these emails okay right so that was all in the start and rule now okay. if you're not done let's say you plan on putting seven together and you're only on email number one you can always pause it right there Mm -hmm. And so if anybody opts in, these emails won't go out. You see the pause button right there? Yeah. Yeah. So you can always pause it and then you can always unpause it. So if anything, pause, pause it for just this minute, but yeah, yeah I can, uh, yeah. what, what about, uh, if the, they fill out the form and the, the autoresponder will happen, but how do I go in and I just look at all of my leads? Is there like a perfect area? For so that? yep. Hover over lit over leads at the top, click on leads to the very right oh, yeah right there and yeah. then and then you got your list so you can sort everything by list you can you can you can see how many leads are coming in how many leads are on that list got it um and then what you can always do is once that zero turns to 10 and 15 and 20 you can click on that number and then you can see every lead that's in there got it okay got and it. then you can click on the name and you can even dive deeper into all their details okay like what list they're on, what sequence they're on, which email within a sequence they're on, if they received an email, if they opened the email, if they clicked on the page, if they watched the video, like that shit is detailed. Do the analytics of a lead is very okay. detailed. Great. Yeah. So Oops. this is something you want to do for sure. Set up your calendar. Oh, damn, I didn't mean you can X out of that. Uh, yeah. And I wanted so to do the calendar you... because now that I, I didn't set this up and this is pretty important that they can not schedule with me because I didn't set this up. Yeah. In fact, you know what? Do go to my forms real quick and and make sure you direct that um that um form to the thank you page. Actually, dude, I thought we created a, a calendar form. I guess not. Create a create hit the green button. So this is gonna be calendar. So here on the calendar form, as I go to your calendar, I look for a spot that's available. I click it. This right here, depend on how you want to do it, you can ask for their phone number right here. You can ask for their phone number if you plan on doing a phone call or just name an email. And then in that email would be detailed information on, on what, what you're going to do. Like, for example, with, with me, I emailed you my link to my Zoom call, right? So I didn't need your name and number up here. But if you're doing phone calls, you know, that might be good to put their phone number right here. Yep. You know, and then you'll always have to hit that green button to save, to, to move on. Then save and next. And then single opt-in. And then right here, this is the thank you. This is the thank you for scheduling page. So hit the external. Oops. No, that's hit the, the, that's um, the thank you page, but we want the thank you for scheduling page. Hit so the ex go. external. Actually, no, you just go back. Hit the external. Hit that drop down. Click on it. Um, go shoot. back to the form. Go back yeah. to here. So oh, down okay. success page, external URL. Click on that drop down. Go okay. to Karcher pages. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so no site. I think it's under no site. And then um, thank you for thank scheduling. You for scheduling. Got it. Okay, okay, Perfect. okay. Okay, cool. So that's the save. So save that. Save and next. And then right here, just like you did in the form on the other form, you sent mm -hmm. out the welcome email. Right. Right. And then you have your email sequence dripping 
tomorrow's yeah. email and on right here. I don't do it right here on the calendar because, okay. because when you get to my calendars, when you get to there and you're setting up the calendar, that's where you can choose to have an email go out. That's where I choose two emails to go out. So while, while, as you set up the calendar, you're going to be able to set to program it where a booking email goes out right away, which is AKA the welcome message, but you do it from my calendars. So a booking email will go out right away and a reminder email will go out right away. So that, that's j okay. like example, perfect example with you and I, you know, right when you yeah. schedule the appointment, you received a, an email right away. That's the booking email. Mm -hmm. And, and then you received an, an email an hour before our call. Yeah. That's all done through my calendars, not through my form. Okay. So I'll leave okay. that one blank and then subscribe to a, to a list. Um, I think we, we set up that list. So click change and then yes, subscribe and then hit the drop down and choose that list. Scheduled appointments. Perfect. Right there. Okay. So add, we don't need a tag. We don't need to put them in a sequence, but always, you got to always hit that green button at the top. There you go. And then um, you can go down, save and next. That's fine. Hit save the green button. Save and next. And then you're good. So now all you got to do is set up my calendar. Set up your calendar. And then, and then now you have the form. So that's the form that's going to tie to the calendar. To add a calendar. Yeah, add a calendar. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Got it. And Great. I normally go with that one, consultant model. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that's where you can get like a little logo. You can put a logo there, but it, you kind of want it to be that that size right there, 250 by 50. And then a, you can change out that image. You can change out that text. Let users select their respective time zone. So um, hit save real quick. Let me let me take you through this real quick because there's a, um, I think you got to go to the very top as well. Yeah, save, save, and then save and next. Let me just show you where to put the actual form. But yeah, put yes, I understand. Yes, I understand. And then here's where you, this, and it's only, it's only in the setup where everything is military time. It's on, it's based on Eastern time and military time. So that's only when you're setting it up here. As a person goes to your calendar, it's a normal 12 hour civilian time. Um, but class title, class description, but at the very bottom, this is where I wanted to show you at the very, very bottom, that's the form. So the opt-in form at the bottom, choose that form you just set up. Perfect. So that's that. And then just um, go to the very top. You'll have to just put a title and, um, and then select a team member. That's going to be you. Um. Perfect. Uh, so, uh, so class description, solar consultation call or solar consultation call. Perfect. And that will be you add. Okay, cool. So you're good. And then, yeah. and then if anything, you can change out the times, you can change out the, the days as well. Save okay. and next. And then um, email confirmation and reminders. Yes. This is where my welcome message is sent out. So okay. again, that email. Yeah. That's what we got to do as well. We got to, we got to integrate your email. So you don't have to keep changing it every time you come in to an email. So I'll show you where to do that. So hit save. And then this is where it's going to allow us to send out the booking email. So there goes the booking email. There goes a the reminder. Okay. So cool. Click on yes. And then it'll open up where you can simply write out that email. And I would just use the same, the same uh, template. So if you hit the pencil, then you can go in and it opens up the email just like we did before. And now you can click on advanced at the top left and then you can go to templates. You can choose your template under, under my, my favorites or whatever it is, my, my templates. So Got there goes your template. Got so it. this is the confirmation email. That's why I didn't set it up through the welcome or through the form because I set it up here.
come on. So you can grab that. You can always uh, change out the subject line or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's the booking one. Click on the green one, edit. And then you can set up the reminder. So hit save on that one, the okay. booking confirmation. So let's save that. And then, um, so yes, send a reminder, new reminder. And that reminder at the top, it can go an hour before, it can go a day before, it can go three hours before, or whatever. I think the minimum is one hour. Yeah, okay. And then here, I'll just use the same template and just, and just go into the advanced mode. So my templates, bam, right there, perfect. So that's that, save, and then save right there. And there's my, my confirmation, my email confirmation. So hit save and next. And then session cancellations, I, I, I go with yes. I mean, if someone needs to cancel or if someone needs to reschedule, like I don't need to take their call for them to do that. Like I just let them do it through the email. So instant approval, yes, save, perfect, save and next. That right there is your help desk to the left, like my help desk. If you want to set up like some type of automated messaging, you can, you can do that. Got it. Um, save and next. Automations, you don't really need that. Actually, this right here is, is what you want to do for sure. You want to sync it with your Google Calendar. Okay. So any appointments that come through, through your Kartra calendar will reflect on your Google Calendar. Okay. So that would be by not my Sun Solar Solutions email. That'd be like my Google, my Gmail account. Your right? Gmail. Okay. Yeah. Do do you use your Gmail calendar? Uh, I mean, like my, to track appointments, or no? I no. What happens is, um, we kind of have like an in-house uh, calendar calendar okay, with cool. a, with an app. So once I put in the uh, appointment in my app, gotcha. um, it kind of gotcha. goes into my own work calendar, which is not syncable. <laughs> So okay. we, we don't use Google Calendar. I mean, uh, so I probably won't set that up. Okay, no worries. Perfect. So then let's subscribe to a list. So we'll do it right here as well. So subscribe to the, um, to the calendar appointments or scheduled appointments. There we go. Perfect. Add. And then they don't need to be in a sequence. So hit the green button, save. Okay, cool. And then save and next. Okay, and then, and then there goes your calendar link. So edit this link, hit the pencil to the right. Yeah, edit that back end. You put something. tyrantsolar.com forward slash calendar. And you can always change it as well. Perfect. Cool, so that's your calendar. So I would save more, I would bookmark that, save that link, bookmark that as well just so you always have your calendar available. Um, and then the last thing you wanna do is you want to make sure, well, there's two things you wanna do. You wanna, you wanna integrate your email so you don't have to keep changing it every time. And then number two, you wanna check your um, notifications to make sure you're notified when leads fill out that opt-in form. So click on my integrations to the left. And then right there where it says Kartra Mail, click on those three dots and let's change out this email. And you can always change it later as well to anything, but you're gonna do the send from and the, and the reply. So that one, there you go, perfect. Go with that one. So this, the bottom You could send a test be... if you want. Yeah, the, you could send a test to whatever email you want it to test to. And then just click on edit and you're, and you're good there. So okay. close that out. Now hit your, hit the top profile. Right here? Yeah. And then go to, um, you're going to go to, click it again, the drop down. You're going to go to email notifications. And then let's scroll down to make sure that the, the um, opt-in is, okay, let's see, let's see, go down, keep going. Um, order confirmation, let's see, scroll up real quick. It might already be on, 
but I just want to confirmation right here. Perfect. Perfect. Scroll up. Opt in confirmation. Actually, no, it's not that one. It's um. Actually, you know what? Scroll up to the very top. This is actually to your, yeah, that's to your leads. Go uh, click on to your team. I'm sorry. Click on to your team to the right. Yeah, there you go. So scroll down here. We want to make sure that all these are, the right ones are lit up. See, so right there, right there. Scroll up. So lead fills in an opt-in form. Light that one up. Lead fills in an opt-in form. That's really the most important. You don't really need to know if they subscribe to a list. You'll know what list they're on. Like lead... Lead subscribes to a membership, lead subscribes to a sequence. You don't need to be notified for that. Like you'll know, you know, what sequence they're on. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the most important. So now what I would do to end it here is let's go to your landing page, opt in and um, check for an email. Shoot. Check for two emails, check for one, you know, for the lead notification and then check to make sure that that email um, went like, to the went to the lead. Let's see here, did I? No, I didn't. So should I just get, yeah, the get code? code yeah. yeah, perfect. And then open it up and uh, get yep. wait the link right. Yep. Okay. Okay, cool. So awesome, man. So see if you got an email, the welcome okay. email and the lead notification. And then what you can do also is click on my communications to the top left. Yeah, right there. And then you'll see, actually click, yeah, click out of that. You can exit out of that one too. Okay, cool. So, okay, so refresh this page. Dude, where did that lead go? Yeah, so you always have to make sure this reply to and send is your e your email. Okay, we got to save. Perfect. Okay, and then subscribe to a list. Hit okay. hit the change uh, right there. All right. That's another reason. Opt in leads. There you go. Perfect. So it was those two reasons why you didn't receive that email and the reason why it didn't show up on, on your list. See, but that's good. I made those mistakes. Yes, that, dude. I'm glad. There you go. Yep. Glad we caught that's... it. Okay. So save and next, save and next. Okay. Perfect. Now go back to the landing page, opt in again. Refresh this page. Actually refresh it. Yeah, for sure. There we go. Awesome. Let's see. Okay, my communications. Okay, so that lead is in the system. You should have got an email. And I did. You sh did you get two? Um, you should have got yes, the welcome. I got one, one from Kartra. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I got two emails. So I got one, one from for Kartra. the lead. A lead has filled in an opt-in form. Perfect. One of your leads has filled in an opt-in form. Perfect. And, and I got another one, the Brian Mitchell. Thank you for contacting this, the welcome email, basically. Awesome. Um, awesome. That way so I already set up. Click, so this is where you'll be able to see your leads. So you'll be able to track your leads right here, but then also you can track the, the, the quantity of leads, not the name and phone number, but you'll be, to, you'll be able to track the quantity of leads in your Facebook ads dashboard given the fact oh, really? that you're 
yeah so so now anyone yeah. randomly that fills out the form you know that's not coming from a facebook ad you know that that's going to be tracked through kartra but True. but any yeah any leads that are coming through your ads, yeah, you'll be able to look at the the Facebook dashboard as well, and you'll be able to count the or be able to track the, the quantity. But right here is where I kind of track it all as well. Um, but so click on click on so you clicked on the number, it brought you here. If you click on the name, it'll open up, and now you can see the rest of their information. But what I what I do right here normally is I'll see what list they're on. So if I click on list at the top, click on list. You can see what list they're on. If you click on communications, you can see um, any type of um, whatever form went out. So, or, or you know, however they communicated with you. So they fill out the form. That's what they did. And then in the sequences, you can see what sequence they're on and which email is okay. coming up next. Okay. And then the log, I track the log as well. So the log will let me know exactly where that lead has been inside of my funnel or on any of my pages. So it shows me right here, video play, thank you video, email sent was the was the um was the the form welcome. Thank you for contacting Try and Solar. So that email was sent, video complete, opened email. I can I can see that they actually opened my email. You see that at the top? Yeah. So if that person says, Well, you know, Brian, I never got your email, it's like, dude, wait a minute, you opened my email. Yeah, and if it didn't say it open email, what would it say? It, it would was, say it. It wouldn't say open. Oh, it just said email. Got yeah, it. Yeah, Video complete. Email. It sent. would say email sent. It would. It will say email sent. Got it. And okay. that's it. It would. Okay. It would not say anything further. It would just say email sent. Wow! 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 Yeah, dude. So that's why <laughs> this is powerful, man. Like. Yeah. This is. This is. Cool. This is yeah. Cool. So you'll you'll really be leveraging this for for the landing pages for the email sequences and for your calendar and and host your videos yeah yeah that's absolutely. what you you really want no, it's to great this. great tool great tool you know and here's yeah. what's crazy too man is the fact that once you really master this and you you well you you pretty much you're already there you're you're putting the pieces to the puzzle once you really solidify it and once you really put the red bow and tie that thing on and make it look like a pretty ass present you can literally package it all up, get your affiliate link, and start getting your team on it. And say, hey, man, I created a whole funnel. I got the entire thing already ready. I'm capturing leads. I can easily transfer it over to you. All you got to do is set up a Kartra account, and the entire funnel is done for you. Damn. That's how you can start building a second income, man, from just these affiliates on your team. Because... The reason why what would motivate them the, the, mo the most to even get on it is the fact that Brian already did all the heavy lifting, which has already created the whole damn thing. You could package up everything, the list, the sequence, the pages, the videos, the form, yeah. the calendar, the thank you page, like all that could be packaged up and given to somebody. Yeah. And so there's value in that for sure. And then they pay the $99 a month. They or pay their $99 a month to, to yeah. have the entire funnel. And you start teaching them how you're running your Facebook ads and they all end up, they'll end up keeping it forever. And you make 40% of that bill every month. Oh, very cool. That's great stuff, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So, and it doesn't take that many, man. I think right now I have like, I have like, I have like 20, I have like 25, 26 people on it. Um, nice, man. And my, um, actually, let me show you my recent, um, my recent deposit, which just came yesterday or two What's today's date? Today's the 17th um, or today's the 18th. They pay out every 15th of the month. So um, this was my, my recent deposit here. Just for having 25 people, 25, 26 people, man, it, it gave me an extra thousand for the month. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? So it's like, dude, that's not bad. Like that's 20, that's, bad. that's 26. Yeah. That's 26 people times 40 bucks. That's all that's that is. A, and you're not doing anything. That's twelve thousand dollars a year for Yeah, for, bro. Like, right? So it's like <laughs> Yeah, dude. And and all these people, to tell you the truth, all of them are either my clients. So in your case, maybe people on your team or pay people within the company or whatever. These people for me are either my clients or they're people that are finding me on YouTube, like you did. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what makes up that extra check. You know, so yeah. But a huge motivation, a huge motivating factor is the fact that you created the whole entire funnel and all they got to do is, is transfer it to their account and they're, and, and, and they're off to the races. 
Yeah, and, and then you so, by help, by by making it, uh, setting it up, and helping them get it set, then they'll then they'll, they'll stay on it, right? Yes, dude. Yes. Not value in it. Then heck yeah. They won't. Heck do it. yeah. Yeah, man. So you got you got some good work ahead of you right here, bro. But all this upfront is upfront and it's one time. Once you once you complete yeah. this upfront work, it's on autopilot. Just focus on Facebook ads from that point on, and you'll crush it. Definitely. Thanks you know? for helping me set this stuff up because the. I, now I feel like that it's all set up. I can, yes. I can do the rest of this, but that, that whole, all that stuff, like, you know how I didn't know to put the email in there it had to be my work email and like all yes, those things dude. I wouldn't have known how to do, but so, but thanks for walking me through that. Yes, man. Did, have you registered for the, for the weekly calls? Uh, no, I haven't registered. Just, them. um, I don't think, I let did. me, let me get to it real quick. Let me just send it to you real quick. Just, just register so you at least receive the week the the replays. So okay. If you can't if okay. you can't get on it live, at least you'll let me send you the link. At least you'll you'll get the replays and try to watch the replays every now and then, dude. Like I'm so, telling you, it's freaking so powerful. Like you'll learn a lot. So I just sent it to you. Okay. Yeah, man, that's awesome, exciting, and yeah. I really appreciate. Uh, that help right there and then Dude, right anytime now, bro anytime you need something with this man hit me up and we'll jump on another call yeah i'm excited to get get going with this i did the video view ad to get a good target audience so after nice. i'm done hitting this i'll publish it into an ad and should i run a conversion on using uh that with my audience as a target audience in my conversion uh, pixel would be my first one yeah, so from ad number two and on, it's conversions. And then, and then what you have to do also is create an audience of everyone who watched your first video. Right. So that I got, I will do the audience because I already, I, I just got like, you know, probably 12 or 13,000 people on it now. Yeah, dude, that's and powerful. So I'll, I'll do the audience and then I'll set it up as a custom conversion for that thank you page. Yep. Right? Yep. Okay. And then I'll run that for about a week or whatever. Um, yeah. And uh, we'll see. We'll and just see. do do a new one every week, man. New video every week. And, and all it is is conversions to the thank you page, a custom conversion to the thank you page. And then you're retargeting all the viewers from each week. For the ad copies, would you do um, on those ads, like how many, like three different ones with like a slideshow and a video and a and a picture or what would you do you can that's when you that's that's split testing so when it comes to split testing you're either split testing a different image for the ad or yeah. you're split testing maybe different videos but what you can also do is split test the targeting so that would be in the second step so rather than rather than split testing the image because you're gonna have a video i would just put out a new video every week like it was your religion and and run that video but if you need to split test anything, you can split test the audience. So maybe, okay. maybe with, with one ad set, you're targeting people who follow Home Depot. Maybe a second ad set, not a second ad, a second yeah. ad set, you're targeting everyone who follows Tesla. Right, right, and then maybe a third ad set, right? You, you, can have, you can have up to four ad sets. Okay. And that's when you're spending more money though, right? Whatever your daily budget is, you're now multiplying it by four because you're testing audiences against each other right there, not ads versus each other. And yes. You, because you your that, ad is the video. Yeah. Don't, so, don't, don't do like ad copies with uh, just stay one video. I, I would stay one video. Now you can do ad cop. You can do, you can do multiple ad cop, multiple ads with images because it's the image that, that you're testing. But if it's a video, it's a video. Like that's me on video. I got something to say. I don't need three different variations of it. It's one damn mm -hmm. video. I need to test the, 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 the audiences. Audience. Got it. Got it. Got it. Cool. 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 Great. So, so that's when you go up, but that's when you start to get your budget up to 20 bucks a day. You're, you're, you're testing, but, but, at, and, and at the same time, it's not like you're running that forever. You're only running it for a few days to see which, which one out of the four pops. Got it. So if you're setting it at five bucks a day or even 10 bucks a day, like you go 10 bucks a day, you, you test four different ad sets in four days you're going to have some data in four days. There's going to be one ad set that pops. You turn off the other three and you run with that one. So it's not like you're running 40 bucks a day for 30 days. No, you're running for you're, If anything, you're running 40 bucks a day for let's say four days Yep. to see which one pops. And then you yep. just shut off the three and run with that one. Yep. Yep. I feel you right there. I got you. you. Know what I mean, so 
So I'm, keep I'm, me posted. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. I do have a little vacation. I'm leaving on Wednesday for a week to go to Oceanside. Oh, right on, man. Work or, <laughs> work or business? Uh, it's, it's a vacation. So it's... Uh, Heck yeah, yeah, bro. I'm actually, um, I'm actually 30 minutes south. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's where I'm. I'm. I'm about thirty minutes from Oceanside. Like I can hop on, hop on, hop on five freeway and get there in about thirty minutes. You know, now you know we live in Phoenix, so San Diego's our vacation spot. Oh, obviously, bro, you're gonna love we, it, dude. Amazing we, we go, time of year to come to San Diego. We we go there multiple times a year usually, but this really? year is the first time. Yeah, we usually go to like uh, um, Mission uh, or or Oceanside, one of those Mission uh, Valley or coronado mission beach or oh yeah mission coronado beach or, oh yeah bro i'm uh, i was just at i was just at i should have took a picture but i didn't i was just at mission beach yesterday last night oh sh- yeah we love san diego I wish yeah dude it's very, very expensive though yeah it's it's too expensive man if it wasn't for my 12 year old son having to be here i would have left i would have left for sure yeah i would have left i would have left california for sure <laughs> yeah but i've been california. here my whole life you know so i've been to san diego my whole life but yeah. it's all good, well, man. But keep me posted, cool. bro. Safe travels. And to tell you the truth, man, that's, a, that's kind of a good time to run an ad while you're out. You know, <laughs> let that ad work in your favor. You're true. Yeah, very true. Yeah. You know, Try not. seriously, I'll, man. I'll run it run. while you're out and, and, and come back to a bunch of leads. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You know, sounds good, man. All right. right on, Brian. Brian. Thanks, David. Yes, sir. All right, keep have a good keep rest me of day. posted, man. Stay in touch. I will. All right, brother.